we ought to be excited to be in his house Hallelujah. once again. Every praise is to our God. Every praise. Every praise is to our God. The word tells us that everything that has breath should praise the Lord. So let's give the Lord a praise that he's worthy of. Let's give the Lord a praise he deserves. Let's give the Lord a hand praise, a hallelujah, a thank you, Jesus, a glory to God, a something, a something type of praise. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again, oh God, for bringing us back into your place of worship, your place of prayer, your place of, your place of praise, Father. We thank you once again for this opportunity. We know that it was nothing but your grace. It was nothing but your mercy, Father. So we thank you right now, Father. Father, I lift up this your children that are gathered here today, Father. You know uh, those that are standing in need, oh God. You know those that are standing in faith, oh God. You know exactly where they are located. So Father, I pray right now, oh God, that you touch them in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, I pray, oh God, that you allow them, oh God, to hear your voice louder and clearer, oh God. To let them feel, oh God, that you are right there near to them, oh God. God. Father, oh God, allow them, oh God, to, to follow the unction of your leading, oh God. Father, help them to be more obedient, oh God. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that whatever the situation is that they may be dealing with, that they may be going through, oh God, lighten that load, oh God. Oh God, your word tells us that they that are heavy laden and burdened, oh God, that they can come to you and find rest, oh God. So, Father, we're here, oh God. We're seeking the more of you, oh God. We're looking for rest, oh God. We're, we're looking for ease, oh God. We're looking for a move of the Holy Spirit, Father. So, Father, we thank you right now, oh God. Holy Ghost, have your way in this place, Father. Oh God, we thank you for stepping in. We thank you, oh God, for meeting the need. We thank you for being a prayer answerer and a promise keeper, oh God. But Father, we thank you today for your word. We thank you today for Jesus, oh God. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. Oh we God, we have so much to be thankful for today, oh God. Oh, we're thankful for one another. Oh, God, I pray right now, oh, God, for the ushers on the door, oh, God. I lift up the media team, uh, the praise and worship team, the mothers, the deacons, the ministers, the elders, uh, each and every one, oh, God. I lift up the whole body of Christ to you right now, oh, God. I pray, oh, God, for a mighty move of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, oh, God. Father, oh, I pray for a unity of faith right now, oh God, as we come together corporately, oh God, praising you and honoring you, oh God. I, I pray for unity of faith, oh God. I pray for the, the spirit of peace, oh God. Father, I pray right now, oh God, that your word falls on listening ears, oh God. Oh God, mold us and conform us, oh God, into what you want us to be right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you for the testimonies that are going to go forth, oh God. Oh, we know that we overcome by the word of the testimony, Father. So we thank you for the testimonies today, oh God. We thank you right now for our bishop, oh God. Continue to use him in a mighty way, oh God. Father, encourage him, oh God. Father, give him fresh vision, fresh revelation, oh God. Fresh anointing, oh God. Oh, let fresh oil fall right now from on high, oh God. From the crown of his head, oh God, to the soles of his feet, oh God. We thank you for our pastor today, oh God. Father, continue, oh God, to be with her and walk with her, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for their unity, oh God, for their example of marriage, oh God. But I lift up the whole family to you today, Father. Father, I pray right now, oh God, as we move forward in this service, oh God, anointing Holy Ghost, have your way in the name of Jesus. We need you, oh God. We need you, oh God. We need you. Oh God, right now, oh, we want to go higher in our worship experience, oh God. We want to go higher, oh God, in you today, Father. So we thank you for this opportunity. Oh, God, we're not going to take it for granted. We are going to give you what you deserve, Father. And you deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. Oh, my hallelujah belongs to you. So we thank you today, Father, for what you're doing and what you're going to do. Bless now your people in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We're going to have our opening scripture from our very own Minister Dunn. God bless you, Minister. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to be reading to you from Ephesians, first chapter, second verse through the seventh. And it, and it reads, grace to you 
and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Jesus, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasures of his will. In him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. Praise God. Let God add a blessing to the reading of the scripture. Hallelujah. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Searched all over. Couldn't find no Look high and low Nobody greater Nobody greater Nobody greater than you One more time, search all over Search all over Lift your voice Couldn't find no fire I need worship to rise in the room. Yeah, search all over. Couldn't find nobody. Nobody compares to you, Lord. I looked high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. Is that your testimony? Come on, shout. Nobody. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Lift it up. Said your name is above all name. Your name is above all name. Worthy of all my praise. Worthy of all my praise. Mighty are the works of your hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. Oh, mighty are the works of your hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. Set your name. Name is above all names. Name is above all You are worthy of all my praise. Worthy of all my praise. And the mighty are the words of your hand. 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 Somebody lift it up. Say the mighty are the words of your hand. Keep on making way for me. Mighty are the works of your hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. Said the mighty are the works of your hand. 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 Search all over. Search all over. Couldn't find no fire. Look high and low. You couldn't find nobody, nobody, nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater. Give your body and shout it out. Nobody greater than you. One more time, come on, somebody declare. Search the world, couldn't find nobody, find nobody. nobody compares to you, Lord. I am Lord, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. There's not a sickness so great. Nobody greater. There's not a struggle greater than you. Nobody greater than you. 
Slip those hands up. Let's worship. Your name is holy. Holy you are and holy. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and lift those hands and worship. Come on and lift those Hallelujah. hands and worship. Worship him. Worship him. Come on, he's holy. He's mighty. He's wonderful. He's awesome. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Let those hands up if you can. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the God of our salvation. Somebody say he's more than enough. He's more than enough. He's more than enough. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Put your hands together and praise him one more time. Come on, give God a great big praise if you know you serve a holy God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
before you take your seat, put your hands together for this wonderful team on this morning. Come on, you can do better than that. Hallelujah. We appreciate you, Pastor Heard and the team on this morning. We appreciate each and every one of you on this morning. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor this is Second Chance Sunday. Come on, come on. Tell him God gave me a second chance. Yes, he did. He gave me a second chance. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We just thank and praise God for his presence. How many feel his presence here this morning? How many really feel his presence here this morning? Hallelujah. In his presence is fullness of joy. In his presence. Hey! His pleasures forevermore. And I'm truly thankful. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just for his presence. I just woke up this morning. I woke up the other morning, uh, yesterday morning. You know, how many sometimes you wake up and you lean on. Praise God, Sister Gigi. God bless you on this morning. Praise God for her. You wake up sometimes, things just get stuck, your bones. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Just get a little stuck. And I said, whoop. I got up and I said, who couldn't get up? My leg got stuck. <laughs> just got, <laughs> anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and sometimes you just gotta sit there. And I said, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be real? And I just started moving it. And I started moving it. Then it started getting loose. I said, loose here, devil. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. But I just thank God how he, <laughs> how he loosed it. Somebody say he loosed it. <laughs> he loosed it. I believe God. I, I thank you, Jesus. But. I just know the importance of movement as, you know, you got to move. You got to move with every bone in your body, especially when you get older. You got to keep moving it. Come on, be active. And so I, I tell you, I just appreciate just laughter. Come on, how many know laughter is like medicine to the soul? Huh? Sometimes we just get too serious. And, but Pastor, you don't know. You don't know. Uh -huh, I know. Sometimes we just need to laugh at the devil. Come on, sometimes we just need to, am I right? Sometimes you need to laugh at them, say, I know what you're doing. Come on, you ain't going to make me depressed and oppressed. Come on, I'm going to laugh at you. Come on, because I can't lose with the stuff I, woo, I can't lose with the tools I'm using. I can't lose. I can't lose. So we just appreciate, I tell you, I tell you, and, you know, I just appreciate it. God in my life and how, put, put your hands together for our bishop on this morning. Come on, you could do better than that for our bishop. I appreciate him on this morning and we certainly want to encourage and encourage and I thank God. Put your hands together for all the men. Men, stand up, all the beautiful men. All the men, all the men. Look at that, ladies. Look at that, all the beautiful men. Now, you know, this is the first to keep standing. This is the first, we got more men and women in the sanctuary. I tell you, I tell you, and you're looking good. You're looking, you're looking good. You're looking good. We gotta encourage our men, you're looking good. I tell you, keep doing what you're doing and just, uh, she said, wait, got to see them? Let the women, women stand up, all our beautiful women here. Now give yourselves a great big hand praise. That's right. Give yourself a great big hand praise. I tell you, we appreciate, we appreciate you. And we thank God for you on this morning. I was in the hallway and I saw two. I, you know, I love the men. I love the brethren. I tell you, I, I'm like Bishop. I love the brethren because we need the brethren. And I saw two beautiful men in the hallway, and I started talking to them. Stand up, who I was talking to. Come on, stand up, these two right. Beautiful men in the hallway. And I said, you know, beautiful. And they said, you know, I'm so I'm Sister Bridget.
Bridget's son, and I'm sister. And they said, I started coming back. They said, I, start, I was coming when I was little kid, and I started coming back. And I said, don't you know we need you? I said, we need you. Um, Elder Knuckles, we need you. I said, we need you. I said, what do you do? He said, well, I'm saying, I do security. I said, well, you need to do security for the church. And so I want you all to connect with these beautiful men and let's get them busy. Let's connect with them, amen, and get them busy and always say, y'all gonna laugh and get them married. Is that all right if you're not married? We got beautiful women in the church. Is that all right? <laughs> amen. <laughs> All right, somebody say, go on, Pastor, with that. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, let me move on. <laughs> let me move on. Well, we have two wonderful, uh, it is Second Chance Sunday. And we probably started doing this probably about a year ago, almost a year ago. And it just caught on because the fact that in church sometimes, how many know in church sometimes you think people don't understand or when you hear them it's like oh I, I've been through some stuff and I can't relate because it looks like all their stuff is just perfect come on you know sometimes in church you, you kind of see that but when you hear the real deal come on when you hear the real deal it's good to hear other people's testimonies so you can say oh okay 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 now I can relate is that all right and so our first one um you know, I'm going to let, is Sister Melody here? Sister Melody, she's going to come, and then Brother Tobias. And I'm going to let Swamika introduce Brother Tobias, because that's her fruit. She brought him, and I'm going to let her um, introduce him. But Sister Melody, come on up. She's a beautiful woman of God. Put your hands together as she come. As she come, beautiful woman of God. Come on, come on, pretty girl. Come, isn't she beautiful? First, give honor to God, to my pastor, the bishop, to all the saints and friends. I was thinking about what I was going to share about my second chance, because he's given me so many. Amen. He's given me so many second chances. Should I talk about the time when the gun was placed in my head and the bullet didn't go off? Or should I talk about how he's healed my body? So I began to pray and ask God to, you show me what you want me to share. So as he began to talk to me, me to share about how many times he's healed my body Amen. and the fact I'm still here okay. right. I'm still here okay. I'm not supposed to be able to talk you don't understand when they say you got cancer of the throat Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And that was a, at the age of 21. Wow. Mm. I'm still here. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm still here. And then should I talk about the time when they told me I had cervical cancer? And the words out of my mouth was, it's sitting in Lord rebuke you. I send you back to health in which you came from. Because you cannot tarry in this body. Okay? God did not bring me here yes. to kill me right. or to let a disease take me out. Right. I have to share what God's given me. Yes. And that's just, I love him. Yes. I love him for each and every moment that I'm able to take a deep breath. Yes. Each time I see a beautiful flower, I can say, I thank you for that flower. Yes. Okay. And when I look up in the sky and I see the rain and the stars and the moon, I say, Lord, I just thank you. Yes. And that gratitude yes. that takes over doesn't matter what anybody else says to you. Okay? Right. It don't matter how they hurt your feelings. Right. And they don't know they hurt your feelings. Yes. Okay? Yes. So when they hurt your feelings, you're like, oh, let me step back. Right. And you say, Lord, I'm going to continue just to pray. Yes. I'm going to continue just to be here. Yes. You left me here, and I'm going to continue to stand on your word. Yes. I'm going to lift my hands and say, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to allow you to use me in the way that you choose to. Yes. I'm going to ask you to guide my footsteps yes. to the places that you want me to go. Yes. And most of all, I ask him to bridle my tongue on, yeah. so right. that melody don't get in the way. Right. 
okay? Because Melody has an issue of getting in the way sometimes. Okay? So it's like, Lord, brag on my tongue so that when I speak, I speak in the way that you are honored, okay? Because I'm here to honor you, okay? And when I came to this church, the first thing I felt was the Holy Spirit, okay? Was the Holy Spirit. So if you're looking for a place where the Holy Spirit abides, you got to come here. 8411 back Arthur okay, is where you need to come because the Spirit of the Lord will heal you. Okay. He will comfort you. Okay. He has a way of just making everything, everything okay. okay. And I just say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm not a speaker. I'm not a talker. Come on, come on, put those hands together. Praise God. Praise God. Y'all should be praising God for that testimony. Come on now. Praise God. I the cradle my tongue, okay? Praise God. <laughs> well, what an honor, what an honor, what an honor. I am blessed, 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 blessed to have my family in the building. I do, I have, I will harass you, and my cousin knows. so he is here only by God's grace. You can't get here, I'll get you here, okay? No matter what. So my cousin Tobias, who is here in the building after some, some he'll share his testimony, but by God's grace, I am encouraged every time I see him walking through the building. So without further ado, my cousin Tobias. Amen. I'd like to thank the Lord God, Jesus Christ. Tobias Jefferson. I wrote this 14th, 2024, my testimony. January 15, 2023 was the day that my life has changed. The day, the month, the year my wife passed away due to cancer. I remember coming home from work walking in the house, my wife sitting, sitting down in her rocking chair. The house, my wife sitting down in a rocking chair. Complaining about her head hurting. Coming in, uh, my wife sitting down at the rocking chair, complaining about her head hurting. Her mother told me this has been going on for so long. She said, Tobias, she needs to go to the hospital. I said, okay. I took her straight to San Leandro Hospital. They did blood work. That's when it came back saying, stating that she had cancer. Then from there, they had to rush her straight to Highland Hospital. There where I sat next to her on the side of her bed, holding her hand, holding her hand, crying. Then the doctor came back, took her to the back, and did more blood work. I finally got the answer that it was definitely cancer. The cancer spread from her stomach to her brain. 
I don't know if everybody know that she had several pockets of fluid in her brain, which is called Legion. When they bring her back to her room, I contact everybody in the family. By me being on the side of her on the bed, she said, I'm okay, I'm okay. Contact family and family members, contact other family members. The hospital being right, right there on, the hospital doctor being right there on the side of me, comforting me. The only thing I can remember of my wife is that she said, Tobias, stop crying. I knew right there and then she knew that everything that I'd done while she was still alive, before we even knew that she had cancer. Let me cut to the chase and tell you the real deal. All right. All right. Being married is not easy. You're going to go through your ups and downs. You're going to go through your bad days and good days. But when you say these vows under God, you stand on it. Yeah, I did went out there and cheat, messed around. But I knew that I had a good one on the side. She was loyal, faithful. Even when I went out there hanging out with the wrong crowd, blew $500 in one day. Yes, I got chewed out, but she still came through for me and put a couple more dollars in my pocket. One thing I have to understand that you don't know your friends until you really know them. The only friend I had was my wife. My wife was a very spiritual person. I always try to run away from church, deny going to church. For some reason, my cousin Swamika must have contacted me, got in contact with me, dragged me by my neck. <laughs> what I'm trying to get all my young men to understand, once we have a good woman, know what we have at home. Know what we got at home. Because I'm not a king without a queen. I'm not a king without a queen. A woman is a nurturer, a healer. When I told the preacher and the pastor that I've been fighting battles, I've been going through ups and downs. I've been fighting a battle beating myself because I knew what I was doing. She definitely knew what I was doing out there in the streets. But she, was want she wanted me to own up to my mistakes and come to her. And this the last. I know she looking down on me. And I know she happy. I know God gave me the strength. But I also got to give the credit. I got to give the credit to Jesus Christ. Because I definitely got to go through Jesus to get to his father, God. Amen. Right. I finally own up. I'm finally done beating myself. I'm finally done grieving. All right. It's time to move forward. And I'm just going to give my body and my soul to God. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. If you all will, point your hands toward my brother. Come on, Minister Knuckles, Elder. Point your hands toward this, my brother. And if you want special prayer today, just stand right where you are, but point your hands toward him. Stay right there. Continue to stand with him, Sister Swamika.
Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we stand here, almighty God. What a blessed, anointed man, almighty God. Lord, that he went through some trials and tribulation, almighty God. But you brought him here, almighty God, to be in the house of the Lord, almighty God. Lord, cover his body, almighty God. Touch his mind, almighty God. Release the anger. Release whatever that God, the enemy, has put on him, almighty God. And you cover it with your precious blood, almighty God. Lord, let him continue to go forward, almighty God. In your name, Jesus, let him go forward almighty God. Keep your loving arms around him and protect him, Lord. Protect everyone that come around him, almighty God. Lord, and we say thank you for every man that's in this house right now, Lord. We thank you right now for every man, almighty God. For every woman, almighty God, that's in love, almighty God. Love covers the multitudes of sins, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do, Lord. Move this church, almighty God. Move this church in a direction, almighty God, where only you, almighty God, knows. And we thank you, almighty God. We thank you for everyone that's here, Lord. We thank you right now. Now put your hands together and give God the glory right now. Give God the glory right now. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. God the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, that's right. Get excited. God is moving. He's moving. Yeah, He's moving. Right. Only see the worst in me. Lift those hands. Oh, he saw the best in me. You know he saw the best in you. The best. Not the worst, but the best. When everyone else That's around right. me That's right. Give him a hug. Encourage Could him. only Encourage see the worst brothers. in me. Yes. Encourage him. Oh, he saw the best in me. That's right. He saw the best, not the worst. But he saw the best. When everyone else around me could only see the worst in me. My weaknesses, my strengths, he saw it, he saw it. Never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see how you were there for me, and I never, ever would have made it. Never could have made it without you. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Now I'm saying I'm, I'm stronger. I'm wiser, I'm better, so much better. When I look back over all he's brought me through, I can truly say, you're the one I held on to, and I never, ever would have made it. Oh, never could have made it without. Stronger, I'm wiser, I'm better, so much better. When I look back over all this brought me through, I can truly say, you're the one I held on to, and I never, ever would have made. I would have lost my mind, but I never would have made it. Without you, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. 
you can't do, God. And as we continue in this service, God, we know that you're with us because you told us that you'll never leave us and you'll never forsake us, God. But God, you found the best in us, oh God. Through it all, God, you took the best and forgot about the worst. And God, we thank you now. We thank you. Hey! We put our hands together and give you praise. Giving you glory. Giving you honor. May we see the presence of the Lord. I don't know if you know that the Lord has been meeting us here every Sunday. It's been a strong anointing in this strong anointing. In this place, in this place, in this place. Hey! Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is liberty. I just believe God is healing right now. If you need healing, he's here. If you need deliverance, he's here. If you need breakthrough, he's here. He's saying, whatever you need, I'm here to do it on today. Put your hands together one more time if you can. Amen. 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 I want to ask them, do we have any guests, any first-time guests here on this morning? Any first-time guests here on this morning? Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for our first-time guests. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Amen. Please take a guest card. Please take a guest card. We want to welcome you. We want to welcome you here on this morning. Thank God for choosing Center of Hope. Uh, to where you can fellowship on today. We pray that you've enjoyed the service thus far and the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Do me a favor, fill out that guest card, fill it out, and then immediately following service in our lobby, you will turn that in. We have a special, beautiful gift for you on this morning for stopping by the Center of Hope Community Church. Amen, church. Amen. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. Well, it's offering time. Put your hands together for offering time. It is. Come on, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. Amen. Amen. The Bible lets us know it is better to give than to receive. And we want to encourage each and every one of you all to give. Give your tithing and give your offering. Give your tithing and give your offering. Amen. In the book of Malachi, the third chapter, in the book of Malachi, he said he would open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing until you won't have room enough to receive it. Amen. Aren't that right? He's just happy in Jesus. God has blessed his soul. God has blessed him 
You don't know like I know. That's just what he's saying, what the Lord has done for me. If you can put up, you can give. How, way, various ways to give on this morning. You can give on our Push Pay app. You can give, those of you online, you can give on our Push Pay, Push Pay Center of Hope. Amen. Our hallelujah. If you can put up the screen, you can text to give. You can text to give on this morning. You on this morning. Or you can mail or drop off your offering at 8400 MacArthur Boulevard, um, Oakland, California, 94605. You can go on our website to give, cohccministries.org. It is through giving, it is through giving this church has been blessed. Through prayers, through giving. Right now we have, right now we're, um, we have a project in the uh, Matilda Cleveland Transitional Housing Program where there's women with children that are um, living there, that are living there, and that's, uh, 50, I believe it's 15 units, amen, 15 units, then we have re-entry, we have re-entry for housing for those who um, come out of prison, show they self, get them a job, we house, we house them, we are full at this time, we are full, we have a daycare downstairs supporting future growth, we have a daycare, then we have a family daycare across the street, we are doing ministry, Come on now, come on. Say, say they're doing ministry. They're doing ministry. It's no longer where you can just come to church every Sunday. Say, well, I just have some church. Well, you want to see the fruit. The fruit is what comes out of the ground. We want to see lives change. We want to be able to help families. It's about helping families and communities. We do food distribution twice a month or more. If you're in need, you know somebody in need, Brother Bernard, stand up. Stand up and he beautiful bags of groceries if you know someone in need or if you're in need he will put that together amen he will put that together for you who are a family for you are a family so I want to encourage you to give on today I want to encourage you to give and if you're not a tither please please sir please sir it is biblical it is biblical it's in the bible a commandment to tithe I'm going to ask that all our uh, givers would please stand on this morning if you're a tither if you're giving if you're just giving on this morning i'm gonna ask that you would give a special offering on this morning think about the need uh, that you need to just think about that need and we've been taught so into that need so just put it into the ground let it grow let it water and i guarantee you it'll grow and it will sow so into that need amen so and to lift up that seed on this morning, if you lift it up high, lift it up high, lift it up high. And let me share something. There's no need that's too great for God. Amen. How many know we serve a great big God? Amen. A great big God. 10,000 cattle up on the hill is his. Lift that up high. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you. That's right, little baby. That's right. We just thank you and we praise you, oh God, for the ability to give, God. We even thank you even for those who are unable but are willing to give. Now, we pray that you would multiply this seed, God, 100-fold, God. And I decree, repeat after me, increase, increase. Abundance, abundance, and overflow in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come with your seed. Come follow the ushers. Come with your seed. Amen. As you follow the ushers on this morning. God bless you. God bless you. Bless you, beautiful family.
That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Woo! He's been so good. So, so good. Amen. If you all can stand at this time, it's time for the word. It is time for the word. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. If you all... Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Tell him he's blessing me. He's blessing me. Come on, he's blessing me. He's blessing you. Come on, how many know 
he's blessing you. Oh! Oh, it's all right. Go on and get your shout on. Go on and praise him. Go on and praise him if you need. Oh, come on now. Come on. That, oh, that's it. That, it's a few of us. He's been good to us. He's been good to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put those hands together and give God a great praise. Bless him. Oh, I... That's it. He's been good. He's been good. Hallelujah. Pastor Heard. Listen real quick. Deacon Phil, I know you haven't been feeling well. Come on up real quick and tell us what God did for you, Deacon Phil. Come on up real quick. Because see, as a few of us, we've been sick. We've been down and out. But nobody but Jesus. Come on up real quick, Deacon Phil. He can't help but praise him. But he got a testimony. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Come on up, Hallelujah. God is real. That's all I can say. God is real. Last Sunday I wanted to make it, but I couldn't make it. I wasn't feeling well. I was, my whole jaw was just swollen and hurting. But I know somebody was praying. Hallelujah. Because the next day, all through the night, I didn't feel no pain. They want to do surgery. They want to do, I don't feel nothing today. I don't think I'm even going back to the dentist. Hallelujah. Because everything, everything is all right. Yay. Yay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put those hands together. Give God a great praise. Come on, bless him. Bless him. It's a few of us. We came to have church today. We're not worried about the masters. We're not worried about the Warriors. We ain't thinking about no baseball. We came in to give God some praise. We came in to bless the Lord, all oh, my soul, everything. Hallelujah. Put those hands together. Bless the Lord. Bring me down. Bring it down. Bless the Lord. Can't you feel his presence? Can't you, can't you feel his presence? Bring it back up. Can't you feel his presence? He's in the house. He's in the house today. He's in the house today. Somebody been praying this week. Sister Carolyn, you've been praying this week. Come on. Elder Baker, you've been praying this week. Listen, I must follow the leading of the Holy Spirit because we're blessed today. We're blessed today. Very softly, very softly. Sister Gigi, come and stand in the front if you will. Pastor Maria, stand with her. Any of you that do mental health work, you do mental health work. Stand with her, Pastor. If you do any kind of mental health work, come and stand with these two today. Elders, if you will surround them as we pray for them. Today, anyone, if you do mental health work in any capacity, because God said pray for you today, Sister Gigi. 
Because you see, sometimes we're so busy helping others, somebody missed it. If you do any kind of health, mental health work, some of you, you work with your families. Any kind of mental health work, that's it, that's it. I want you to come and stand. Elder Harness, come on and pray for these. Point your hands toward them. We're lifting up Sister Gigi, our pastor. We're lifting them up in prayer. Oh, gracious and merciful Father. You see your people, my God, my God. And Father God, we come before you knowing that all power, there's nothing too hard for thee. We know that you are the Lord thy God that strengthens and encourage, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are a mind regulator. Hallelujah. I ask that you would cover your people that are working with those that are mentally ill, Father. Cover them with your blood, God. Pour into them, God, that they may do the work that you have called them to do, Father. In the name of Jesus, I ask that you would have your way with them, Lord. We know, God, that you are the great physician. We know that you have given wisdom to man. But, God, it is you, Father, that healeth thee. It is you, God, that strengthens. It is you, God, that makes a way out of no way. It is you, God, that upgird the righteous, Father. It is you. And we come to you, God, knowing that you're able to do exceedingly above, more than what we think or what we request, according to your power that works in us. Now allow your power to work in them, God, because it's very challenging, God. Hallelujah. And I just ask that you put a hedge of protection around them, God. They need your protection, Father. They don't know what comes in. They don't know what the thoughts of others are, God. But you, God, it is you, God, that knows all things. And so as they come in for help, God, be with them. I cast out every demon right now in the name of Jesus, of those that are sick, those that are disturbed, God, cover their mind. The enemy wants to use them for his glory, but he doesn't have no glory. All the glory belongs to you, God. Be with them, God. Keep them safe, Father, your workers, Father, in the name of Jesus, and allow them to know that they're working unto you, Father. Touch their minds, God. Don't allow the, the, the spirits that they carry why they're trying to do your work to help them. Don't allow that spirit to come upon them. In the name of Jesus, we believe it is so. We call those things that be not as though they were, that they can run the race and do what you have called them. In Jesus' name, our help comes from you and you only. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Come on, give God a praise as you make your way back to your seats. You all right, you all right, you all right. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, give God a great praise. Bless him. Praise God. Praise God. Mother, we're praying for you. We know you're going to be traveling this week. We're praying for you. Any others going to be traveling or out this week? We're praying for you, Sister Michelle. We're lifting you all up. We're praying for you, those who will be traveling. Let's thank God for our Sister Portia. Stan, we're so glad. She's our Reno member. She lives in Reno, but anytime she's at home, and even there in Reno, she's online with us every Tuesday night, every Sunday. Praise God. Help me thank God for our pastor. Put your hands together for our pastor. We thank God for praise God. Help me thank God for Sister Gigi doing a powerful work. Stand, Sister Gigi. I want the people to know you and see you doing a powerful work, blessing so many families beyond the church. And we say thank you, Gigi. That's not easy work. 
and even uh, we have sent people to you and recommended we go see Sister Gigi. She can help you. Her organization can help you. How many of you know that God has also called us to the marketplace? I said to the marketplace. I lift up Sister Nancy. I pray for those in the shop. I pray for those who work in the marketplace because they need the anointing on them as they do that work, as they do that work. And so we just want to say thank you. We appreciate that work. Sometimes I feel the church kind of forgets about certain areas that we want to know. That's not, that's not just social services. Those should be spiritual services. Come on. I said spiritual services. And I thank God for God's people that are doing what God has called them to do. Praise God. Praise God. We're excited today. Right after this service, we're going to be blessing a beautiful baby, christening a beautiful baby. Help me thank God for all the family here today with this beautiful baby. We're going to be christening that baby. And to the members, to the members immediately following the service, there'll be a very, very short meeting. All the members remain here in the sanctuary just for a few moments. We want to share a few things with you today as we are moving forward. How many of you are praying for your family? Come on now, I said praying for your family. Did we enjoy Brother Tobias? Help me thank God for Brother Tobias. Come on, help me thank God for Sister Melody. Come on, Sister Melody. Powerful, powerful. And what I love about Sister Melody and Sister Schwamika, they don't mind inviting you to church. Somebody missed it. I said they don't mind inviting you to church. People invite us all these other places they want us to go. Well, how many know you should say, uh, listen, by the way, Sunday, I'm going to be in the house of the living God. I'd love for you to, oh, come on. That's how Brother Tobias got here. We thank God. Are you going to pray for me today? Just give me a few moments. I'm not going to be before you long. I want to drop this in your spirit. Help me thank God for all these wonderful elders, ministers. Stand, if you will, very quickly. All the elders, ministers. Oh, that's it. Come on, Bishop Brown. Come on, help me thank God for them, the men and women of God. Minister Davis, that's it. Help me thank God. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I appreciate your prayers. Tell your neighbor, please pray for me this week. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And don't just say it, but do it. Is that all right? How many know we all need prayer? Father, we bless you and honor you, and we thank you, God, for your word today. Thank you for your presence and your power. Speak in this place today. Holy Spirit, continue to have your way. But even when the service is over, you keep on doing what you're doing. God, we're going to take you home with us today. Well, this evening, let us just continue to bask in your presence. Thank you for Jesus. It is done. Amen and amen. I think it was when Minister Davis was singing Jesus. It's something about when you keep calling that name. So, oh, so I, I said when you keep calling that name. I said the name of Jesus. Anybody ever call him on a Wednesday? Come on. Any, any, anybody ever call him on a Thursday? Come on. Brother Larry, do you talk to him on Friday? Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm talking about that. Next. See, no, no. I can't just wait for Sunday. Somebody, no, 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 I can't, no, I got to talk to him every day. Come on, oh, I thank, I don't know about you, but I thank God for Jesus. And he's real today. Are you going to pray for me? Give me just a few moments. I want to drop this in your spirit today. And I want you to know God is faithful. God is faithful to his people. I'm going over now, just a few verses here. Praise God, a few verses uh, St. Matthew, I'm in the book of St. Matthew, 27th chapter, just a few verses, beginning at verse 45. St. Matthew, the 27th chapter, and then I'm going over to the 28th. St. Matthew, the 27th chapter, beginning at verse 45. It says, now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was darkness. Somebody say darkness. darkness. There was darkness over all the land. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabbathani, that is my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 
Some of those who stood there when they heard that said, this man is calling for Elijah. Immediately one of them ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine and put it on a reed and offered it to him to drink. The rest said, let him alone. Let us see if Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. Verse 51, then behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from, uh, uh, yes, from top to bottom and the earth quaked. Sounds like California. And the earth quaked and the rocks were split and the graves were opened and many of the bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised and coming out of the graves after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Let me drop down now. I'm going over into the 28th. Praise God. Just one verse there, verse number 9 and 10. Over in the 28th chapter of St. Uh, praise God. I'm over here. Yes, this is St. Matthew. St. Matthew, the ninth, uh, I'm sorry, the 28th chapter in verse number 9 and 10. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, rejoice. Tell somebody, rejoice. He tells them, he says, rejoice. So they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Any worshipers in the house today? Because they came to worship him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee and there they will see me. Thank God for the reading and the hearing of God's word. If you will, just repeat after me and say, the eclipse. Come on, talk to me. Say, the eclipse. Jesus destroys the power of death. I said Jesus destroyed the power of death. But it was an eclipse. I don't know how many science students we have in here. How many science majors, if you will. Give me the definition. You know, we had an eclipse last week. I believe, was that Tuesday? Tuesday? Was it Monday? Come on, come on. I need some science students, some scholars. Yes, an eclipse, it's the obscuring of the light from one celestial body by the passage of another between it and the observer. Somebody missed it. Between it and the observer. Yes, thank you. And it, it's, yes, and its source of illumination. Is that the complete definition? All right. Losing or having lost significance, power, or prominence it was an eclipse jesus being on the cross that was the eclipse he had oh somebody missed it because any time light now yes thank you that's what i'm talking about any time light is there and now the light has been placed and taken out darkness takes over there's a few of us here and we heard some testimonies but there's a few of us we know we came out of darkness Oh, somebody should be rejoicing right there. Uh, uh, oh, because it wasn't by accident. It wasn't by happenstance. It didn't just happen. But oh, there was a mindset because at some point in our life, we had an eclipse. When we knew we were in a dark place, but we ran into Jesus. I said, Jesus, the light of the world. Oh, they used to sing songs like that. The light. G oh, 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 they used to sing what? Walk into the light. Anybody glad that you came out of darkness and walked into the light? Anybody appreciative that one day there was an eclipse in your life? Come on. I'm not talking about your wedding day. I'm talking about your salvation day. I'm not talking about your anniversary. I'm talking about your salvation day. The day that you accepted Christ into your heart. There was an eclipse because darkness was in you. See, oh, you know, for some reason we don't like to be real. But what I love about Jesus, he made it clear during that time when he's on the cross, there was some darkness. Darkness took over for a number of hours because you had the son of the living God now on a cross being crucified, doing what his father had already set up and put in place for him. But he knew he had to eclipse with the cross. You see, sometimes we want to plan and and put all this stuff together and have all kind of different things we put in place. How many of you know God will change your plans? 
I said, God will, oh, he will change the situation. Uh, you think you're going one way, and God said, no, you're going this way. Because you've got to do it his way. Jesus knew that his father already had it set up. And so, and so in the text today, we find that there was darkness. Darkness came over the earth during the eclipse now. I mean, you know, you couldn't just look at it with the natural eye. And that's the problem. See, so, you know, some of y'all are trying to see some spiritual stuff with your natural eyes. But you got to put on your eclipse glasses. Come on. You got to be able to say, now nah, I got some protection. I can look into the light. I can look and see. Oh, I'm talking about every, you need, oh, come on. You can't just look at everything. You can't, every now and then you got to put on your spiritual glasses and be able to say, now I can look and see what God is getting ready. No, I, no, I'm not looking at the chaos. I'm not looking at the craziness. I'm not worried about the confusion. I'm not worried about the liars. I'm not worried about the naysayers. I'm not worried about those who have questions. I'm not worried about those who trying to figure out what time it is and what no 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 I'm putting on my glasses because every now and then I need to be able to look into the light and see what God is saying and hear what it, because there's an eclipse how many know God will protect you oh I said he oh now I know I got I said he will protect you and some of you you know it the world we're living in right now I need his protection and so what we find very quickly in this text, we find that there was some darkness and Jesus cries out. And this is the blessing. He cries out. He says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And sometimes it feels like that when you've gone through an eclipse. Because, oh, come on, you, everything was going fine. And then all of a sudden it seemed like something just hit. Brother Tobias, I know what you're talking about. The day is going well, and then all of a sudden, something flips and changes, and all of a sudden, you get some negative news, or something is going wrong over here, but God is saying, be still. I better preach this side. God is saying, be still. Don't try to figure it all out. Stop trying to analyze. He never called you to analyze everything. He said, let him be the analyzer. Let him handle it. Stop trying to put, you, you trying to put all your ducks in a row. God said, stop worrying about your ducks. Stop worrying about what he's doing. Let him do his job. You do your job. Live holy. Walk up right before him. Honor God with all that you do. Honor God and recognize that he's with you every day. And what God has placed in you is in you. You worried about what, well, you know, I'm not worried about what somebody else has. I'm looking at what God has placed in me. Jesus knew who he was on the cross, even though others didn't know. Talking about he's crying out to Elijah. They didn't know what they were talking about. He's crying. He said, no, no, no. The, when you understand that and know who's working in you, even though those around you might not understand you, and tell your neighbor, get to the place where you stop trying to get everybody to understand you. God said with this word today, he said, just stand when you don't understand. Don't go around asking questions. Don't go around talking. Uh, stand. Stand on his word. Decree and declare who he is. Recognize that I'm standing on the word of God. I, I, no, 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 no. I don't have time to hear all that madness and confusion and chaos. No, no, no. God says stand on his word. And, and, oh, anybody know his word will sustain you. Come on, anybody know his word will keep you? I'm looking at some miracles back in that area because see when, oh, oh, when God shows up and even though Jesus is on a cross and he knew he had to give up the ghost, but he understands that God, you said you'd never leave me nor forsake me. And it's a few of us. I'm looking at some miracles in the room today. You're not the only one, Sister Melody. It's, oh, it's some miracles in here today. Oh, I wish we had time for some people to share their testimonies because, you see, it's a few of us. We know where God brought us from because there was an eclipse. And what I need you to understand is that Jesus had to go through this process in order to destroy the power of death. He had to die to destroy the power of death. 
That's why I can rejoice today because if I close these eyes down here, the word tells me to be absent from this body, but now to be in the, oh, come on, elder, you pray, but now to be in the glorious presence of the living God. That's why the thief on the cross, he said, hey, you got to remember me it, during this time of eclipse, during this time of what we're going through. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Don't forget about me. That's my prayer every day. God, others will forget about me. Friends will walk away. Loved ones will turn their back on me. Family will lie on me. Folks will talk about me. The devil hates me, but it's all right. I'm so glad I got God on my side. I'm so glad that I know him for myself. In the process of the eclipse, there's pain. Oh, I feel like preaching this word today. Knuckles, you've been praying for me. Anybody ever felt pain in the eclipse? I said pain. Oh, see, I know. Sometimes, you know, we won't act like, no, 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 no. You're not no super saved Superman. We all feel pain sometimes. Anybody go through some challenging weeks? Yes, yes. Some weeks are challenging. Some weeks, you're like, God, now wait a minute. I know I'm not by myself. You're saying, God, wait a minute. What's going on here now? Where, where did that come from? How did that happen? And God said, you just be still and be quiet. Sit back and watch me work. Is somebody praying for me. Let me get ready to close with this. You see, what blesses me is that he didn't stay in the tomb. Tell you never, you can't stay where you are. At some point, you got to get up. And that's the problem. Some of y'all waiting on somebody to get you up. No, no, no. At some point, you got to get up. You got to pick up your spirit. David said, I will encourage myself. I can't wait for those around me because they going through discouraging times. They dealing with discouragement. But I've learned how to preach to myself. I've learned how to pray for myself. I've learned how to speak into my own life and decree and declare that I am blessed. Oh, I feel like preaching, Sister Gigi. Because see, they get jealous because you can declare, I am blessed. Whether you like it or not, you can't stop it. You can't drop me. Come on. You will not knock me out. Come on, Terry. How dare you try to sucker punch me? Oh, I feel like preaching this word today. Because see, in the eclipse, God says, I'm giving you power. When the darkness comes over, behind the veil, he's working on you. Behind the veil, he's strengthening you. Behind the veil, he's making you an oak. So when you come out, Somebody know what I'm talking about. You come out with power. You're not the husband you thought you were. You say, I know who God made me to be. I will speak over this family. I will decree and declare blessings over this family. And it don't have to just be the husband. The wife can speak blessings. The children can speak blessings. But it's in the eclipse. And let me share with you the blessing is he didn't stay in the tomb. He didn't stay in the tomb. Tell your neighbor, you can't stay there. You can't keep on doubting. We don't have time. Come on, you can't stay there, Terry. Come on now, you can't stay in that place. Especially those of you that know he brought me out. Come on. I believe it was the psalmist Aretha Franklin who said, soul looks back and wonder how I made it through the eclipse. How I got over my old deacon Phil. My soul looks back. I didn't say my eyes. My soul looks back and it begins to wonder. Bishop Reams used to sing the song, he's a wonder in my soul. Colson, I wish I had time to preach it today because the anointing is on me, but it's in the eclipse. And God said every now and then, I don't know who I'm moving, I'm moving into the prophetic, every now and then God has to bring the darkness to shield you. It's not the darkness to put you in darkness. There's a darkness that will shield you.
Because God knows the advances and the attacks of the enemy. And that's where folks get upset because God has been the buffer around you. God has been the firewall covering you. And they thought you had gone under. They thought you, they thought it was done. They thought you were finished. But Jesus said, it is finished. He didn't say, I am finished. He said, it is finished. Everything the enemy is trying to do, it is finished. Every work, every lying tongue, it is finished. Every demonic spirit that tries to show up and tear up some stuff, it is finished. God said it's over because of the eclipse, the shielding of the Holy Spirit. Help me, Holy Ghost. What blesses me now, Jesus declares to them after he is out of the tomb, he's up. Now notice the first thing they did when they saw him, they worshiped. I'm looking for the worshipers. Don't get me wrong. I love Pastor Hurd. I love the music and all that, but I'm a worshiper. I can't wait for someone to play for me. to. Work. No, no, I worship during the week. I worship. When they saw him, they worshiped him. And what that means is they esteemed him. They lifted him. I don't care what goes on in your life. You got to be a worshiper. God bless you. You got to worship God for who he is. You got to stand on his word and worship him. I'm not waiting for a good sound. The brother could hit the bass and the music is good, but there's some times I don't have the music. There's sometimes, oh, Sister Allison, when you seem like you're all alone, all by yourself, but the Holy Spirit has a way of showing up and getting in the car with you and letting you know, hey, if you start talking about Jesus, if you start thinking about his goodness, if you start talking about how good he is, talking to the worshipers. I'm not talking about those that have to be worked up to worship. I'm talking about the worshipers, those who understand that worship has to remain on my lips. Worship, because I'm a worshiper. But if you notice, that after they worshiped him, then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid today. Know that if God promised it, he's going to make it happen. You didn't hear Deacon Field talk about he was afraid. He understood and knew this too shall pass. And I'm going to lay right here. Oh, I can, I can see him laying in the bed calling on Jesus. Swollen jaw and all, but calling on Jesus. And there's a few of us, sometimes we have pain in these bodies. But in the process of the pain, I yet can tell him how good he is. I yet can tell him that I know you as a healer. I know you as a deliverer. Jesus tells them, he says, do not be afraid. Tell your neighbor, this is not the time to be afraid. This is the time to pray. You see what's happening overseas. Immediately yesterday, when the breaking news hit, I started praying. I said, God, we got to pray now. We've got to pray. The people of God have to pray. But let me close with this. He tells them, and he makes it clear. So you see, this is where faith kicks in. He says, you tell them to go ahead and get to Galilee. I'll see them there. It's something about when you got real faith. Real faith, when negative news shows up, well, God will handle that too. I don't care what the mortgage is, it will be paid. I don't care what the car note is, it will be paid. And God said some of y'all need to get ready because when the finances are in, it's time to pay the car off. It's time to eliminate some debt. I, I said it's time to eliminate some debt. You see, that's, I, I believe, Sister Gigi, that's why some of us are dealing with mental issues behind debt. And instead of us eliminating, we go out and make more debt. When God is saying, hey, I'm, I'm with you. I'm Jehovah Jireh. I'm your provider. But at some point, pay it off. Be done with it. At some point, get your pink slip and say, hey, I'm the owner now. Oh, I feel like preaching in this house today. I wish I had the time. But when you understand, he destroyed the power of death. Jesus said, death, you can't hold me down. Come on. See, now, let me share with some of you all, because some of you all, back in the day, you had a voice. You did not let people mess with you. You made it clear. Wait a minute. What did you say? And why did you make that statement? Oh, you're talking to the wrong person. Uh, no, 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 no. This, I'm not a child. You don't talk to me that way. 
Come on now. Oh, some of y'all remember. I'm trying to act like you was all nice. and No, no, no. You let, the, you let the wrong person say the wrong thing. Excuse me. Still save knuckles, but excuse me. You don't talk to me. Oh, I tell the devil all the time. De devil, do you know who you talking to? Do you understand the power that God has given me? Do you understand I am the royalty of God? I'm God's child. I belong to the king of kings. I'm a part of the kingdom. You better shut up and back up. You better get out of my face because Jesus destroyed the power of death. I'm not going to let you speak death over me. I serve a God of life. But he said not just life. He said abundant life. I got to stop. Slip those hands up right where you are. Anointing, give me something, some worship. Slip those hands up right where you are. If this word has challenged anyone today, if this word has challenged you, and you said, Bishop, you were preaching to me today because I've been in the eclipse. There's a time when the, the darkness will try to cover the light. But I'm so glad that light will overpower the darkness. Slip those hands up right where you are. Slip those hands up. Thank you, Lord. I realize. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Bring that up. I need the Lord. We need him right now. You need the Lord tonight. We need him you right now, the people of God. We need him right now. Your help. Comes We're praying for Lord. Antioch. We're praying for Oakley. Praying for Oakland. I need some folk praying for Oakland. Slip those hands up very water. soft. Bring it down just a little bit. Or it will run dry. Hallelujah. Because I need him. I need, you like I the need him. Father, we thank you for your word today. Needs the setting of the sky. And God, someone has been in the eclipse. There's an eclipse that took place. Like the and they felt today. like they were locked in the to darkness. But God, you opened the door. Lord, I need Just as the stone was rolled away and the light came in, but the light walked out. Thank you for resurrection power. Thank you, God, for bringing us to the place that you've called us to. And Father, these who are standing, allow them to know you're covering them with your anointing. Your anointing. Man has nothing to do with this. This is the anointing of the living God. Touch today. Touch today. Strengthen today. In the name of Jesus. And God, someone is feeling pain in their body. I, I decree and declare healing take place today. Give them a good night's rest. Give them a great day this day. Healing in the name of Jesus. And God, if there's someone that doesn't know you, allow them to come to know you. Allow them to accept you into their heart today. It is done. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Put those hands together. Give him a praise. Bless him.